Today we're going to be building a portable Raspberry Pi computer powered by solar energy. Here's a shot of all the parts you'll need to make this project happen. We'll dive deeper into each component as we walk through the process. And here's what the finished product looks like. So the first step in getting your Pi set up is, well, here's your Raspberry Pi, and you got to take the uh, USB card that you got. This one's pre-installed with noobs on it and you pop it into the SD card on the back. So now your Raspberry Pi is fully loaded with an operating system. The next step I took was to solder on the uh, GPIO uh, connections on the Pi TFT um, two and a half inch uh, touch screen and what we're going to do is we're going to pop this well it's going to go right here in the GPI on top of the GPI cables but we're going to put this in a case first so I'm not going to do that yet the other things we have are the wireless keyboard this is nice and you have your little USB thing in the back. And then what we're also going to add is this high-powered Wi-Fi cable. I actually have one coming that does not have this uh, long annoying cord. But that's not here yet. So that'll go right in there. I'm actually going to take this out because we're going to put it all into a case. And this, so this is the uh, Pi Bao Pi TFT case. It comes in a bunch of layers of acrylic. And so you're going to basically, I'll put this together right now. You got to go layer by layer. Put the first two layers down. Oops. Make sure that the numbers match up. So this is now going into the GPIO. Uh oh, that hurt. That one hurt. I don't know about that. All right, well, it looks like it's in. That's, you don't want that sound. If you heard that, start over. Now we're going to throw in these screws on the side. down so now we're gonna add in the wireless keyboard and the Wi-Fi and there we go the Pi is ready So now we're going to get the solar part working. We need to charge our Pi. So here's a solar panel I got from Adafruit. And basically we have to splice off the jack and put in a DC jack. Because that is what this accepts. And so basically we're going to plug it in here. 
We're going to plug the solar in here. It's going to get the energy, pop it into this guy. This is sort of a capacitor to make sure it goes from the, uh, the volts. I think this is a 6 volt, 2 watt um, solar panel. And so it converts it to, to something that we can use in our lithium polymer battery. And so I basically just soldered together two JFT cables, or the back of this one, to a J JFT cable. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that into the battery in. Let's see. All right, so now we have the battery connected. And then we're going to connect the solar panel into this side. And let's see. Should be able to turn on a lamp right here. Get the solar panel close. And we should see some lights turn on if we did it right. Cool. All right, so it charges when it's in the sun. And it's out of the sun. It goes slower. And when it gets closer, it goes faster, faster, faster until it's, let's see how close I can get it. Pretty continuous. I can't move it that close, but if I get it there, it will continuously charge. So this is cool. Now, how do we get it to power our Raspberry Pi? Um, the Raspberry Pi goes from, or is normally charged from USB to uh, micro or mini USB. So I got this little guy, it's a power booster. Uh, again, put JFT to JFT. Um, gonna put this into the battery out. So now this is where the power is going. And we got green, which means we got power. So here's this arrangement, and what we'll do is we'll plug the original Raspberry Pi cord, which is this guy into here and then into the Raspberry Pi and that should power it without needing to put it, uh, put it into the uh, wall socket. You can pretty much be in the jungle and power your device. Uh, and I also printed out a really quick case for this. So it's not all arranged yet, but you, know, you could put this guy here, this guy here, this guy here. And then you have your little solar unit, if I get it to fit. So now that we got our solar panel working, our solar charger working, we're going to connect it up to the Raspberry Pi. So first we're going to put in our SD card. This is the operating system. Then we're going to pop in our wireless controller which is this guy and our Wi-Fi all right now that we got that all connected we're gonna take our original Raspberry Pi cable we're gonna put the USB end in here we're gonna put the power We'll turn this guy on. <clears throat> and we'll put the power on. And if it works, we should get a white screen. All right, cool. So we have power. Now what's happening is the Raspberry Pi is loading uh, the noobs, which I've already installed Raspbian on. So it's installing Raspbian, and then I've also gone in and already um, changed the config files so that once it starts um, this boot up process, it's going to then run through the code that I wrote that changes it to the touch screen, and then we'll see that in a few seconds. Okay, cool. Now this is the, the rest of the boot up code. It's now switched to displaying via the touch screen or this little two-inch screen. Let me get a close-up shot of that. All 
So now it's going to load up the actual desktop. And I put it in portrait mode, so. We have our start screen. Uh, we're controlling it with the Wi-Fi. We can either open up a terminal or open up some Wi-Fi. We'll go to the start menu, internet, and find Midori. And we'll hit that open. And it takes a few seconds to load. It's not a very powerful computer but it does do everything it needs to do. So it'll load up this Midori instance, connect to the Wi-Fi. I've already preset a lot of the drivers, pre-installed a lot of the drivers that are needed to get this stuff working, but it is working. It's live. Um, here's one of my websites, sell simple, sell everywhere. So we could sell an item on multiple marketplaces if we wanted to. And this is all happening from a pie that's powered by the sun.